In our weather alert, our latest storm gave two Utah ski resorts the honor of breaking a record late in the season. That storm pushed solitude past 800 inches. And if that doesn't impress you, this next one should. Alta now at over 900. They are the first and possibly only Utah ski resort to reach that snow milestone. I mean, at one point we were talking about how impressive 700 inches right. was. And it's just amazing where we are now. Huge this is record. something you talked about yesterday, mm -hmm. saying we might hit 900. We're, we're so, so excited, excited about, about it. Last night at 10 o'clock, we were three inches away. And yes. I thought, okay, this is going to happen. This is monumental. I mean, not just for the resort, for Utah in general to have this much snow. And we're in late season, so to hit that record in late April. Mm -hmm. It's really oh, something. It says a lot about this season. Okay, we're going to take that live look up at Alta, the 900 Club. Goodness gracious, that's a big number. Just to put that into perspective, Utah snow would cover the faces at Mount Rushmore. Just to let you know, that's how much snow. Yeah, it also would cover the White House. Lady Liberty would be waist deep. So we're talking about a lot of snow here. 11 inches is what we picked up from the storm overnight at Solitude. Nine at Alta. Brighton got 10. Snowbird picked up seven and five in Park City. A late April storm. But this record is huge. Beating out 748 back in 1981 and 82. That was Alta's previous record. But we've blown that out of the water as we sit at 903. Record-breaking year, not just for Alta for so many of our resorts and now solitude hitting that 800 club snowbird and brighton already their record years for all of those locations park city doing very well snow basin also had a record year so the snow continues to perform i know and we're talking flooding because here we are now into spring we had thunderstorms yesterday and changes on the way it was valley rain from this storm system that continues to keep those showers churning how beautiful is the utah state capitol mandy thanks for sending this the cherry blossoms in full bloom so if you have time the next couple days go ahead and give a drive by the capitol it is just stunning up there wraparound moisture is still out there and it is terrain driven we are still seeing it on the benches but you can see on the satellite radar here most of that, the core of the system has tracked to the east. A few clouds and a few showers will linger into this evening. But this system is moving out of the region. It's going to go ahead and continue to dig to the southeast there. And as we look at the Beehive State, we get just a few showers with the wraparound and then drying, drying for a while. We get high pressure taking over, and that's going to bring really quiet conditions. We're below average today, sitting in the mid 40s, 40s along the Wasatch Front, 70 in St. George, 52 in Moab, 40s and 50s over in the West Desert. It's cooler than it typically is. This time of year, 64 is our average high, and that cold front came through and did its job. Cooled us off with a northerly flow. 15 degrees cooler than where we were yesterday at this time in Salt Lake. Same number in Cedar City. So that 24-hour temperature change telling the story. So does this quiet future cast. There goes that exiting system. And we do have another front that's going to graze the state. Thursday into Friday, our ridge of high pressure seems to block that as a storm block and pushes it over to the east. But you notice that the winds pick up. We could see a little more cloud cover and a degree or two cooler. But moisture-wise, only isolated activity over the Uint is expected right now. 50s 60s for tomorrow, 68 in Moab, 81 in St. George. Temperatures are on the up and up. Don't believe me? Check the seven day. Lots of sunshine. The winds will be whipping at times and the 90s come back for the weekend in St. George, not just at Target when you're buying platform shoes. Wasatch Front showing 60s, 70s, and we see some 80s by the latter half of the weekend. Dry conditions with that high pressure. We'll see a little more cloud cover and slightly cooler on Friday with that front grazing the state. To stay on top of the forecast, download the the ABC weather app and we will be right back.